So question nine is a sufficiently scary question because it's telling us about the universe, but if we pick it apart, then we can um, look at what's um, needed. So 13.4 billion years ago, that's the time. So, and then it tells us that atoms formed and photons at the time could propagate freely. So they move freely, they're no longer bound um, to matter. And how far, so that's the distance, how far would one of these photons have traveled by now. So what this really is, is a sort of speed equals distance over time question. So we've got our time, which is 13.4 you know, billion years. So um, I change this to a comma, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So none of these are sixes, that's just my bad handwriting. And that's in years, so we want to convert that to seconds, which means times it by 24, then times it by 60, then times it by 60 again. And I can assure you that the answer to that is 4.23 times 10 to the 17 seconds. So that's just converting from years to seconds. And um, then we want to find out the distance a photon's traveled. So um, to relate time and distance, we need the equation speed equals distance over time. So how fast does a photon move? Well, um, it's taken to be c, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters. Sorry, which is taken to be c, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. The speed of light in a vacuum. So this is our speed in the green, and our time is in the red, so it will stick distance as blue. So distance equals time times the speed, so 4.23 times 10 to the 17 times 3 times 10 to the 8. So 4 times 3 is roughly 12, 10 to the 17 times 10 to the 8 is um, 10 to the 25. So if we convert it into standard form, that's 1.2 times 10 to the 26 meters. So that means the photon formed or released from its sort of bound states 13.4 billion years ago would have traveled 1.2 times 10 to the 26 meters. And just using speed equals distance over time, you can quite nicely um, work out how far a distance travelled in the whole um, age of the universe.